Hello viewers. Welcome to Denti Digest. Here are the 10 things you should know about leukoplakia. Point 1. In simple words, leukoplakia is a white patch that can occur in any part of your mouth. The white patch is usually non-scrapable and can range from a light white area to a hard leathery white patch in the mouth. Point 2. Leukoplakia is often seen in smokers and drinkers. It is also seen in people who chew tobacco. In short, it is a common lesion in people who have an association with tobacco. Point 3. Usually, there are two forms of leukoplakia, homogeneous and non-homogeneous form of leukoplakia. Homogeneous leukoplakia appears as a white uniform patch that spreads uniformly in the region involved. On the other hand, non-homogeneous leukoplakia is non-uniform and contains areas of red zones in between. Point 4. All forms of leukoplakia might not develop into oral cancer. Hence do not worry when you have leukoplakia. The best practice is to consult your dentist and have a biopsy to know its cancer potential. Point 5. The region where leukoplakia is seen is important to judge its malignant potential or cancer transforming potential. Leukoplakia on the floor of mouth are more dangerous and tend to turn into cancer easily. Point 6. In case you are afraid of your lesion turning into oral cancer, always remember that biopsy is the gold standard for leukoplakia and for confirming oral cancer transformations. Hence, visit your dentist and ask for an oral biopsy of the suspecting area. Your dentist might examine your oral cavity and might advise biopsy if required. Point 7. It is very easy to distinguish leukoplakia from other lesions. Leukoplakia is usually painless and cannot be scrapped off. While oral candidiasis which appears similar to leukoplakia can be scrapped leaving bleeding areas. Leukoplakia has a classic presentation of dry cracked mud. Point 8. Leukoplakia once formed cannot be reversed. The lesion has to be excised either surgically or through cryotherapy or laser therapy. Point 9. The medication that we use for leukoplakia are only supportive therapy. They mainly contain antioxidants to prevent further damage to the oral cavity. Vitamin A supplements mainly help in regulating keratinization and help in preventing further keratinization of the mucosa. Point 10. Only 3% of leukoplakias might turn into oral cancer. Hence all leukoplakias are not oral cancers. Hope you understood the intricacies of oral leukoplakia. If you like the video, do share with your family and friends. And, please do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you.